thing. I just got my workout clothes on. What do you say? Should we do motor group? All right, here we go. Here's what you'll need for today's obstacle course. A laundry basket, four small stuffed animals. We got one, two, three, four. A pair of socks or a bean bag if you have one. A roll of tape. This piece of paper with five circles on it. Some crayons, either a broken crayon or a whole crayon, depending on where you're at. A ball and a box. Just like we do every week, let's start with some ball skills. How about we flash back to what we've learned the last few weeks? Are you ready to play some catch? Yeah. What could you do if you didn't have a ball at home? You could use a pillow. You're right, you could toss a pillow back and forth. What else? Um, you could crumple up some newspaper and tape it together. Good idea, you could crumple up a big ball of paper, wrap some tape around it, and play catch with that. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna toss it to you, and you're gonna catch it with just your hands. Nice job, can you push it back? Nice, there's one, two, three, nice job. Two more, four, and five. Nice job. All right, and if catching and throwing the ball is too hard, you can always sit down and roll the ball back and forth. Are you ready, Molly? Yeah. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So do whatever works for you. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on stopping a ball and kicking a ball. Are you ready, Molly? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna kick you the ball and I want you to stop it by lifting up your foot, stop the ball, put your foot back down, and then you're gonna kick it back. Think you can do it? Yeah. All right, here it comes. Lift your foot up, stop it, put your foot back down, and kick it back. Nice job, let's do five of those. Ready, here we go. One, go all the way till you get to five. All right, now that you've kicked the ball back and forth five times, let's move on to beanbag toss. But since I'm here at home, I don't have a beanbag. I'm gonna use a pair of socks, and I'm gonna to toss my beanbag into a laundry basket. At school, we usually use a hula hoop. But today, a laundry basket will have to do. So remember, when you're tossing, you're gonna hold the beanbag or your socks in your hand with your hand facing up to the sky. And you're gonna reach your arm back. You're gonna swing it forward and let go and toss it in that basket. All right, now it's your turn. Go ahead and toss that beanbag into the basket five times. See how many times you can get it to land. Last week, we also worked on the bounce pass. Let's go ahead and review that now. Using both hands together, bounce the ball on the floor to the other person. Notice how Molly and I are catching the ball with both our hands. There's one, two, three, four, Five. Great job with those ball skills again. Now let's see what we have for our obstacle course. The first station in today's obstacle course is stepping into and out of a box. Well, I'm going to step in and then step out to work on single leg balance. The second station in today's obstacle course is jumping over and then going under. This is where you'll need your four stuffed animals spaced out apart from each other on the floor. You'll also need an adult to help you because they will be the tunnel that you are gonna go under. You're gonna jump with both feet together over your stuffed animal. Make sure you don't land on your favorite stuffy. Then you're gonna go under a grown-up's legs, all the way down to the floor on your tummy. Pull yourself through. Jump over, go under, jump over, under one more time, and finish by jumping over. The third station in today's obstacle course is the snake slither or the army crawl. Watch as Molly drags her body across the floor staying as low as she can. She's using both her arms and her legs to pull herself along for a distance of about 10 feet. The fourth station in today's obstacle course is coloring underneath a low table or a chair. Take your piece of paper and some tape and you're going to tape it up underneath your table or your chair and then you're going to grab a crayon and you're gonna lay on your back and you're gonna color in a shape, doing your best to stay inside the lines. This is going to work your shoulder muscles quite a bit. 
Let's see what it looks like once we put it all together. First, step in the box, step out of the box. Then get ready for jumping over and go under, jump over. Mine's gonna go under. Notice how she's going all the way down on her belly. She's using her arms to push herself up off the floor. Then she's gonna snake slither, dragging herself across the floor using those arms and legs. She's gonna slither all the way over to the chair for some coloring. Let's see what it looks like from underneath. Notice how Molly's pinching that crayon between her thumb and her index finger. And she's taking her time and working hard to do her best to stay inside the lines. For those younger kiddos, of course, they will go outside the lines and that's no big deal. Molly's gonna keep coloring until she's filled the whole circle. And then she's gonna get up and do the whole obstacle course again until all her circles are colored. Looks like Molly's just finishing up coloring her fifth circle, her final circle, and then she will be done with her obstacle course. Wow, Molly, that was a lot of work, huh? Yeah. Is your arm tired? For sure. I bet. All right, I hope you guys had fun, and we'll see you next week. I gotta go pick up my stuffies. Go get them. <laughs>